an environmental group has initiated a tree planting activity in Rosario Batangas. The activity will serve as the first step towards the creation of an eco garden in the area. Julian Geronimo has more. In an effort to eventually help lessen flooding during heavy rains, an environmental group built an eco-garden in Rosario, Batangas this weekend. Members of Akbay Kalikasan, led by Julio Castilla Jr., held a tree and fruit planting activity. Among the fruits they planted are jackfruit, sugar apple, and java plum. Police and other civic groups that are also lobbying for the protection of the environment helped out in the planting activity. Nandito sila upang makiisa no, sa ating layunin sa pagprotekta ng ating kalikasan. So this is the start of something big for the tourism industry of the province of Batangas, specifically here in uh, Rosario, Batangas. So, ang isa rin sa adhikain natin na ito ay gayahin ng uh, iba pa nating mga kababayan o iba pang barangay dito po sa lalawigan ng Batangas. Maganda po may ganito. Magtulong-tulong po ang buong komunidad, ang mga uh, mamamayan para po sa isang malinis na kapaligid at uh, malusog magandang kalikasan. A member of the Maritime Forces said the activity is in line with their mandate to enforce environmental laws. He also highlighted that trees help prevent severe flooding during heavy rains. Castillo said this is the seventh eco-garden they have built following those they established in Tarlac and Cavite. Sana po uh, maging panimula po ito at maging inspirasyon po sa ating mga kababayan ang ganitong klaseng gawain. Para sa mga darating pang mga kabataan is mabubuksan yung kanilang kaisipan na talagang kailangan palang pangalagaan ng ating kalikasan. Kasi ito po ay napaka-importante kasi ito yung nagiging cost ng pagkasira ng ating um, ozone layer. Yun. Jillian Geronimo for The Nation.